Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. May 28th, 1997, the New York Yankees are in town for a game against the Toronto Blue Jays. So let's uh, simulate the rest of the games, see how everybody else did. Alright, got an 8-6 victory for the Expos over the Mets. 5-4 for the Red Sox over the White Sox. 3-0 for the Tigers over the Orioles. 8-4 for the Brewers over the Twins. 6-4 for the Mariners over the Rangers. And we got a bunch of uh, one run and two run games there as well. Alright, looks like it's a relatively calm day in the MLB. But uh, not for the Jays. The Jays are working. <laughs> Alright, New York Yankees at Toronto Blue Jays. the Yankees. The shortstop, number two. <laughs> Alrighty. Pitch speed to All-Star. Bullpen. We have Juan Guzman versus Gooden. Alright. Isn't he the one that pitched when I uh, messed up the recording or when the... Uh, yeah. I think it was. Anyways. Uh, Gooden is a righty. Okay. Let's take a look at the lineup. In batting order, we have Otis Nixon in center field, Sean Green in left field, Joe Carter at first base, Carlos Delgado as designated hitter, Ed Sprague at third base, Carlos Garcia at second base, Benito Santiago behind the plate, Robert Perez in right field, and Alex Gonzalez at shortstop. Let's play ball. All right. Let's uh, start things off with a uh, slow slider. To Derek Jeter. Uh, let's try a slow changeup. One away. Next up for the Yankees, the third baseman. Number 12. Alright, let's go with a uh, medium slider. Ooh, shallow center field. Looks like it's base hit. Now that for the Yankees, the center fielder, number 51. Let's go with a slow fastball. With a medium changeup. Round ball. Ooh, in the right field. Base hit. Runners at first and second. Next up, the designated hitter. Number 45. Um, yeah, let's go with a medium slider. Ball one. Uh, let's go with a slow fastball. Uh, let's try throwing the heat. And finally, let's try a fast changeup. Fly ball to right center. And he flies out to the outfield. Now batting for the Yankees, the first baseman, number 24. Uh, let's go to medium fastball. Let's try a slow changeup. A routine fly to the outfield. We got it! Now batting for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. And, ooh, ground ball. Second baseman got it. Oh, beats the play at first. Whoa. <laughs> Next up for the Blue Jays, 
the left fielder, number 15. The good old speed of uh, Otis Nixon. Send him a second. Strike one. Save it second. All right. One and one to count to Sean Green. All right. Next up, the designated hitter, number 25. A routine fly yeah, just keep going. It's the third out. <clears throat> Pardon me. And as we found out last game, the outfielders can actually drop the ball, so... <laughs> For the Yankees, the right fielder, number 20. One. Well, I'm not sure if they can drop it, but I know it can get through their legs. But anyways, let's go with a medium slider. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Now that is for the Yankees, the left fielder, number 39. Uh, let's go with a medium fastball. Ooh, a slow change up. Yeah, let's see if we can blow it by him. Throw in the heat. Not quite. Oh no, Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, reach on an error. Now that for the Yankees, the second baseman, number 18. Uh, let's go with a slow fastball. Try a medium slider. Let's try a fast changeup. Ground ball and second to first double play. Next up for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number thirty-three. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 13. In the center field, base hit. Now that is, for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. It's actually debating whether of uh, switching... Uh, Sean Green and uh, Carlos Garcia around in the uh, batting order, and it's gone. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number seven. Using the same logic I did with the uh, with uh, the last game against the lefty, where I switched uh, Santiago and Carter around, because uh, yeah, Garcia's got the it's a, well, he's he's a faster runner than Sean Green. His uh, abilities to get on base are Got higher numbers there, and uh, putting Sean Green down a bit further in the border puts a little more power down there as well. So, yeah, like bridge somewhat of a gap between uh, Ed Sprague and Santiago in terms of power. But, yeah, well, 28th home run for Benito Santiago, 411 feet. All right, Robert Perez. Wow. 
wow. That was indeed a normal swing. How about that? For the Blue Jay, the short stop, number eight. Has the most career all-star home game all-star game home runs uh musio hey i got it <clears throat> pardon me uh let's go the slow slider it's probably gonna be a ball but yeah let's try a medium slider Right, yeah. Slow change up. And let's throw the heat. Ooh, got it. He dropped it over the infield. And uh almost got him at first. Next <clears throat> Pardon me. For the Yankees. The short stop. Number two. All right, uh, medium changeup. He dropped it over the infield. Okay. Uh oh. Really? Uh. Yeah, this is what happened the last time. Hold on a moment. It's out of here. Well, on the bright side, it wasn't exactly the same as last time. This time, the <clears throat> pardon me, the reset button actually worked properly. Question is, do I want to try going for it again? Probably not. Let's just let the. Uh, Let's just let the computer have this one. Uh, B to switch right and simulate. And a one nothing victory for the Yankees over the Blue Jays. Alright. So, at the end of May 28th, 1997, in the American League West. Seattle, 21, 27 wins, 25 losses. Oakland, 26 and 27. Texas, 21 and 23. Anaheim, 16 and 35. Central, Cleveland, 35 and 17. Kansas City, 30 and 21. Chicago, 22 and 28. Milwaukee, 21 and 29. Minnesota, 21 and 31. In the East, Toronto, 45 and 6. Baltimore 31 and 22, Detroit 25 and 26, New York 22 and 30, and Boston 19 and 33. Mm, pardon me. In the West, Colorado 32 and 19, San Diego 26 and 24, San Francisco 21 and 29, Los Angeles 18 and 32. Central, St. Louis, 31 and 19, Chicago, 27 and 24, Cincinnati, 25 and 27, Houston, 22 and 29, Pittsburgh, 21 and 32. In the East, Montreal, 32 and 19, tied with Atlanta for the lead, 32 and 19. New York, 30 and 22, Florida, 20 and 29, and Philadelphia, 20 and 33. <clears throat> Pardon me. And yeah, let's yeah, it's just no idea what happened that game in terms of the stats, but uh, let's uh, just quickly go through this. I probably won't see anything, but uh, unless there's something extremely outstanding, but. Uh, Uh, it was like Nixon got a couple more hits, I think. Unless I'm forgetting whether he had uh, 
exactly 100 hits or not. Didn't get any RBIs, I know that much. <laughs> Pitching, yeah, Juan Guzman got his first loss, maybe. ERA of first loss. For the National League, let's start with batting. But yeah, the reason why I'm not, I did, decided not to uh, play from the first inning again is simply because of, well, one, how long it takes to record these episodes, because you can see, that other than cutting out the uh, the uh, lineup reorganization kind of thing, uh, everything's there, so yeah, if it takes an hour to record, it took me an hour to record kind of thing, and uh takes roughly the same amount of time to encode it so yeah alrighty for pitching the National League So, next time on May 29th, 1997, hopefully things will go a bit smoother in the uh, recording department anyway, <laughs> but the New York, Yan New York Yankees are still in town to finish up their two-game series before the Jays go out on the road to Oakland. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.